to the dead suspect in this case. Again, 30-year-old James Tilka. Our Elaine Park talked with the victim's family off camera who gives us more insight into the relationship. Good evening, Elaine. Yeah, good evening, Chris. We are told from neighbors that the suspect lived with his family in King City at their home right behind me. Earlier today, I went to Kelso to talk with the family members of the victim, and they said the victim and the suspect's relationship was far more complicated than anyone realized. Facebook pictures of James Tilka and his wife Kate Armand show a smiling, attractive young couple frequently posting pictures of their daughter on social media. But family members I spoke with off camera say they were far from happy. I learned they were in the process of divorce when the shooting took place. He wasn't too friendly. Lauren Mitchell says he was the neighbor who called 911. There was a woman wailing and he just crying and just almost hysteric hysterical. Turns out she saw me and called me by name, and I understood then it was probably Janine, and uh, asked me to call 911, call the police, call an ambulance, said there's somebody laying on the street here. Mitchell believes Tilka was living at his parents' place for only a couple of months, here in King City, where the shooting happened. He had a very noisy muffler on his car and was driving the whole neighborhood nuts. Beaverton police confirmed that the dead suspect also happened to be a volunteer police cadet when he was 18 for two years. On his LinkedIn profile, he posted that he's been working for Comcast Cable as a customer account executive in Beaverton. We're working to confirm that directly from the company. Now, court records show the suspect was also in a previous marriage where he had problems with custody issues as well as child support payments. A lot more to come from this. We're live in King City. I'm Eileen Park. Back to you. Yeah, sad story all around, Eileen.